Welcome back everyone to another video. Today's video is on settings. More importantly, which settings you should have on, and most importantly, which settings you should have turned off. These are the settings that I currently use. We're going to go through all of them, and hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a much smoother, better experience in PvP. Remember that if you have any questions or we've missed something, please use it in the comments, ask your questions, and develop yourself as a pilot. Let's begin on our settings. So let's begin under options, game settings. Notice here that my chromatic or cinematic cameras is turned off, my vibrations turned off, my spring camera movement is also turned off. These settings are important to help stabilize your character and not cause any distractions. This is a big one. Ensure that your G-safe is turned off. Next, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna make it to our speed limiter, which should be turned on. Our proximity assist, which should be turned to no. Our coupled mode should be turned to yes, unless you wanna start and be coupled. And then we reach our ESP settings. Currently, I'm using ESP at seven degrees and 1% dampening. This allows me to have the smoothest translation with the best precision. For me, try this setting if you wanna give it a shot. Next, we'll scroll down and we'll take a look at our VJOY. Also, our pilot velocity indicator set to always on. This tells us what our current vector is regardless of where it is on our screen. Next, we wanna scroll down to some of the more important options here, which is disabling look ahead mode. Understand also this right here Targeting lead lag ret reticle is actually what you can use to switch between lag or leads as defaults. I use lag pips as default because I like them. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to turn off our turret, our pilot, and our vehicle look ahead mode. Look ahead mode is a function in the game which is supposed to add more immersion, but what ends up happening is it just simply gets in the way. Turn your look ahead mode to no and turn all of your look ahead settings to zero on your turret, pilot, and driver. If you'd like to keep these settings on, be my guest. But for PvP, you want to keep yourself nice and static so that you can get a good handle on your movement. Next, we want to do G Force induced head movement, turn that to zero. G Force induced afterburner zoom, turn that to zero. Global camera shake down to zero, which is going to help stabilize everything, like I said before. And also, what we want to do is change our graphics settings to make sure that we have quality set to high, our film grain set to no, our chromatic aberrations set to zero, and our sharpening set to zero, as well as our motion blur turned off. These settings will dramatically impact the playability of your dogfighting experience. Good. Next we go to audio and here we see our audio settings. We're going to turn off our audio driven camera shake strength, set that to zero. I'm not sure why that was at 50. <laughs> and that should pretty much wrap up your audio settings. Finally, we're going to get along to our controls. We're going to take a look at our sensitivities. Some people might not believe this, but I use default sensitivity curves. I don't really change my dead zones that much. I keep all my saturation settings at 1.0, and I believe so should you. You can obviously play with these how you see fit, but these are the settings I use. Finally, we're going to get over to comms, FOIP, and head tracking for you, for you folks with that, that have TR5. I have default track IR5 settings. I don't really change any of my TR settings. All I do is I go into my comms, FOIP, and head tracking zone here. I select track IR5 as my device input. And most importantly here, I turn off my use position offset in cockpit set to no. This one is a big one. It will dramatically help your experience. All my other settings here are default. I haven't changed anything. The only one was turning off the use position offset in cockpit. So this pretty much wraps up the in-star citizen game options that we're going through. I hope these help. And I want to give you a couple tips and some bonuses just to help when it comes to getting a little bit more frames out of your game. 
What you can do is you can go into your NVIDIA settings. Here, I'll show. Under your Manage 3D settings, you should have an option under Global Settings called Shader Cache Size. Set that to 10 gigabytes, and you'll notice that you will get some more frames out of your game. Also, don't forget to set your Adjust Image Preview to Quality, or sorry, I apologize, Performance over Quality. This will also help you get more frames. All right, you did it. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you for, for stopping by, guys. I hope these settings help. I genuinely do. These are the settings I use, and hopefully that after you've seen this video, you'll have a much better experience in dogfighting. It'll be much smoother, much more stable, and hey, you might even get some more frames out of it. Big thanks to everybody who's been coming by Discord, and as always, thank you so much for all the love and support on YouTube, on Twitch, and everywhere I go. I could not do this without you. I hope to see you guys all out there for the next stream. Take a look at Predator Mounts if you're interested in getting a mounting system for your joysticks. They're the ones I use. I find them to be absolutely fantastic. My name is Avenger1. And I'll see you next time.